This just in, we have some breaking news within the last hour or so. Major League Baseball has officially suspended Alex Rodriguez for 211 games. Welcome to the News Hub. I'm Simon Constable. We'll have that and so much more. Well, Baseball Commissioner Bud Selig ruled this afternoon that A-Rod will not be eligible to play until the 2015 season. Twelve other players were also hit with a 50-game ban, effectively ending their season for this year. Joining us now with the details on this is Wall Street Journal's Ben Cohen from the Sports Desk. It's, it's a big ban. It is. We were expecting this, you know, early, earlier in the day. What's been going on? There were rumors that there might have been deals in the works, but you know what actually ended up happening as of three o'clock was that Rodriguez will be banned for 211 games, so that's part of this year and next year, which of course he can appeal and he will appeal hmm. uh, an appeals process during which he can actually still play baseball and get paid. I think that's and get paid, and the suspension doesn't start until Thursday. Uh, and Rodriguez was supposed to make his season debut tonight, which he still will. So he'll play through at least Thursday and then more. And the appeals process can take several weeks. And, and w what can happen in the appeals process? Can, can he see the, the ban reduced? Can he, what, can he see it eliminated completely? That's the point, complete? I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think part of the point is to keep playing and to keep making money. But, yeah. you know, Major League Baseball still hasn't uh, shown what it has on Rodriguez yet. I mean, they, the other guys receive 50-game bans. This is his first time testing positive uh, in the new uh, uh, under the new doping rule. Mm. So that should technically be 50 games, but they're suspending him for more than 200 games based on uh, their thought that he obstructed part of their investigation and might have covered up evidence. And, uh, you know, that means that they have to show some of this. I mean, he didn't uh, really take a deal. They didn't go for a lifetime ban, but they're going to have to show their hand. Well, it. is it effectively a lifetime ban? Because it, it's a young man's game. It's, it's, a, it's a grueling sport. Uh, and it, after this ban is over, if it was to start now, he would be over 40 when, yeah. when, it, when, it, when it's over. Does that effectively end it for him? Probably. I mean, Rodriguez hasn't even played this season. I mean, he's mm. had a lot of problems with injuries, in, uh, injuries that have cost him playing time. And, mm. you know, as you get older, there, there aren't that many guys who, position players, who have really played past 40 and been very good past 40. Of course, he still has a contract, and he's still, uh, the Yankees are still on the hook for paying him. I'm sure they, of all teams, would love for him to no longer be playing past his, past, uh, when he gets into his 40s. But, uh, but it's not a lifetime ban, but you're right, it might essentially be a lifetime ban. It, it, I mean, the, the whole thing is interesting. Do you think a lot of the contention will be around the, the, the discrepancy between what he got, the 211 game ban and the 50 game ban from from the others and there's a lot of people on the list yeah some uh, good 50 players too games. I mean, Nelson you know, Cruz and Johnny Peralta are yeah, very I mean, good they're not we, but they're not Alex Rodriguez right I mean Alex Rodriguez is one of the greatest players to ever play baseball for a long time there was thoughts that he was going to break the home run record he was seen as you know the heir apparent to every single star that well, baseball's ever had I mean, if I mean if, if if the baseball commission is right and he's been taking performance enhancing yeah. drugs, well, that that would be why he would be one of the baseball. So, d does that really count? I guess that's the that's the big question, and that's the question that every Hall of Fame prospect. I mean, the Hall of Fame inducted a class last week in which there were no Hall of Fame inductees. This is the question that's going to be plaguing baseball for the next 15, 20 years. I mean, what, what I'm looking at these lists, right? Which we, we just saw on the street. There's so many people. I mean, this is not like it's one guy out of nowhere. And oh my goodness, and guys have already been suspended. This isn't the first time that baseball. Yeah has suspended players for doping. This looks like it's rife. Maybe it should be compulsory <laughs> and just have yeah. them play for 24 hours straight or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe these were the, the guys who are just dumb enough to get caught. Wow. Strange world. Thank you very much. Ben Cohen Thanks, of the Simon. Wall Street Journal.